Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $111,826.59. In the past year I am up $35,609.63. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $19,639.84. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $817.47. After hours, I am up $2,402.18. So overall, doing really well. Now, something to note here is that for the longest time, I was not beating the returns of SPY. However, today, finally, the returns of my portfolio year to date is 21.30% and for SPY year to date, oh sorry, hold on, SPY year to date is 19.37%. So finally today, I was able to beat the returns of SPY year to date. For the longest time I've been getting a lot of comments like, Oh, you know, you're doing all this and you're still behind the returns of SPY. And you know what? Most active investors do not beat the returns of SPY. They don't. And I've made a separate video on this as well. So it's to be expected to not beat the returns of the S&P 500 ETFs. However, this is a uncommon occurrence where an active investor like me is actually able to beat the returns of SPY for this year at least. So 19.88% year to date for the SPY and for my portfolio year to date, 21.30%. So over 1%, I think like uh, close to 2% even, more than uh, the returns of SPY for this year, year to date. Now, will this continue? That's another story because my portfolio this year has been very up and down. You know, um, there have been spikes where it goes up and then it drops like $10,000 or even more than that. You know, for example, I was at 108,000 and then dropped down to 97, then went back up to 105, then dropped all the way down to 85. And now I'm back up to 111 again. So. I don't think that this will last forever. If anything, there could be a good chance that it's just going to go back down again. Considering how my portfolio has been performing throughout the year, it's been very up and down. So do I think that this is going to last forever? Time will tell, but uh, at least for now, my portfolio has been performing uh, better, slightly better, just slightly, but slightly better than the returns of SPY year to date. So at least there's that. Now, I do want to talk about some of my positions because I did make some changes, just a few changes for the ones expiring uh, soon. So let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. Oh, sorry, I didn't go over my returns. Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, $297. I'm selling Disney $97 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $12. I'm selling Google $160 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $53. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $332.16. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $26. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, 
I am down $120. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18. My total return. I am down $335. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $290. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,200. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,253. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,100. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $2,436. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $189. My average cost, $176.44. My total return, $3,769.84. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.29. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $16,516.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $94.07. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $10,628. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $161.71. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $1,923. This is a margin account. My margin total is $93,303.73. My margin used is $57,938.59. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $13,365.14. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $38,039.41. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $9.87 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So like I said, big day to day because for the longest time ever, I was underperforming the returns of SPY. But today, finally, my portfolio was able to uh, have a higher year to date return than SPY. So I'm happy about that. Uh, for a longest time, there was even a point where uh, I was not even green for the year anymore. I, I was red. Uh, so it's a huge turnaround. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that we finally got the Fed rate cut today. At least that was the big story. I've been busy today, but uh, I did read a news article about it. Um, so I think that could have contributed to it. Although people have different opinions. Um, but yeah, that's something that was big news today. And I think the market is reacting in such a way, you know, well, at least for me, the ones that I've, I've invested in, they're all green. Amazon, SoFi, Disney, and Google, they were all green today. So I'm happy about that. I think SPY was actually red, wasn't it? Yeah, it was down 0.31% today. So this is the way it's uh, been reacting to the news. So it's benefiting me personally in my portfolio. So I'm happy about that, but we'll see what happens from here. Like I said, do I think it's going to stay up here forever? Every time my portfolio has like spiked up or like gone several days uh, having green days, it's immediately like dropped right after. So. 
I'm expecting that this time as well, but we'll wait and see what happens. I'll keep on making more updates so you guys know what happens, but I'm expecting a drop in my portfolio soon because that's what's consistently happened throughout the year, but who knows? Uh, we'll see. Anyways, at least for now, I'm happy about this and uh, we'll see what goes on from here. All right, I'll keep on making more portfolio updates to keep you guys updated on what's happening, but for now, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these portfolio updates. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.